uh, our, our concept is based on a system that is extremely uh, modular. So the base versions uh, can be used for logistic purposes, uh, but you can also have either a surveillance module or a weaponized module, depending on the mission that you're looking for. So our approach was really to basically build the, build the systems uh, for which the, the client himself can tailor-made, depending on the mission, without having to buy a specialized robot per se. So base platform, basic capability, all the, the same ability to be semi-autonomous, but then, depending on the mission, you put a different mission module on the vehicle itself. This, uh, this is very, very similar to what happened to the uh, unmanned air vehicles that started in, in the 90s, uh, that, where basically uh, nobody was using uh, UAVs at the time. And when you look at today, every country in the world and every military in the world is using unmanned air vehicles. And in the land domain, you see exactly the same trend. Mainly to, uh, to reduce the burden on the dismounted soldiers and, and to also help uh, with this basically very complex battle space that you see today. Uh, so you will see a lot of those things being used for you know, ammunition carrying, medical evacuation, long, long, long sustainment of surveillance tasks, or even prosecuting targets. Actually, uh, this, uh, the initial interest that came from the uh, special uh, operation uh, field, uh, but lately uh, mainstream military uh, in Europe and also in the Middle East uh, are pushing very aggressively to get access to that, this capability within the next year or two at the utmost. So within the Rheinmetall group, uh, Rheinmetall Canada is responsible for the unmanned ground vehicle uh, segment. And uh, this is a relatively new product that uh, started to be uh, articulated about two years ago. Uh, and it's really uh, at the technology re release level uh, about five to six depending on the versions that the client is looking for. Uh, but is, what is really behind that technology is not the hardware, it's really the software, which is making a big difference uh, compared to uh, all the other players that are currently entering the field of unmanned ground vehicles.